We stopped the betrayer, but not before he set the moons in motion. Soon they will align. When the eclipse occurs, the moon gate of Anequina will open and grant access to Jode's core, which is exactly what the dragons desire. Some, but not a lot. Luckily, we anticipated the connection to the moon gate and sent Garish Rhea ahead with whatever forces we could spare, which was not as much as I would like. I just wish we had something else to fall back on. The combat Dragonhorn is charged, but we still do not know its full capabilities. We must not waste its energy, so we will save it until absolutely necessary. We should make our way to the moon gate now. Tell our companions, it is time. Our companions left the palace to wander Riman and consider what is to come. Find Abner Tarn, Zamarak, and Prefect Kalo. Cadwell too, if he is still around. I would like them to join us at the Moon Gate, but we'll understand if they decide not to. Quiet moments to meditate have been rare since Zamarak returned to elsewhere. This one needed some time alone, especially after helping Tharn with the dragon at the Shadow Dance ruins. But you look like one who has important news, my friend. Zamarak suspected that would be our next destination. This one noticed that the moons have shifted in the sky, moving in a way that breaks their usual pattern. The Betrayer's doing, yes? At least you and Queen Chimera returned from the ruins. Then we still have a chance. Zamarak has pledged his honor to Queen Chimera. He will not break that vow. This one has a purpose again, and will see it through, no matter the cost. Zamarak will meet you at the Moon Gate, my friend. Queen Chimera, attuned to the Lunar Lattice, Zamarak never expected to see such a miracle in his lifetime. This one prays that it will be enough when we stand against the dragons. About what you would expect. Tharn used flashy spells to confuse the dragon until it finally gave up and flew away. Then, we encountered the squad of Euraxians led by a necromancer. Those Zamarak dispatched. It was the least this one could do. Wine used to rejuvenate me after periods of intense exertion and spell casting. Now I can barely taste the stuff. A good thing too. Kajiti wine is cloyingly sweet, like drinking candy plums boiled in moon sugar. I presume you have news? The moon gate. A noble but futile proposition, I fear. The Khajiit should pack up and flee while they still can. Let the Alliance armies deal with this. Show them some fights are more important than deciding whose posterior best fits the ruby throne. 
No, no. Just pondering other options. Too much of what we're facing was the inadvertent result of my actions or the actions of my family. Dragons, Euraxians, necromancers. The responsibility falls to me and balance must be restored. Would you stand a chance otherwise? Without my arcane and strategic insights, anything you try is destined to fail. I won't have that on my conscience. Now, allow me to finish this sickeningly sweet inebriant one last indulgence before the end. By the way, I believe I understand the purpose of the Dragonhorn. After much consideration, the use and function of the ancient instrument has become clear. The Dragon Guard were clever, I'll say that for them. Theoretical knowledge isn't the same as practical experience, but I believe I understand the fundamentals of its operation. The Dragon Guard prepared a horn taken from a massive dragon and engraved it with arcane runes, giving it astonishing power. Oh yes, I'm fairly certain of that. And I found historical references indicating the Dragon Guard gifted such relics to key locations, for their protection, you see. The one you located was originally in Rimen before it was moved to the sanctuary. We have neither the time nor resources to move the large relic, but the small horn you brought back, it's called a combat horn, by the way, was designed to be carried into battle. Once charged with energy, its sound weakens dragons. One problem solved, then. The next is sheer age. This ancient combat horn is exceedingly fragile. I'm not sure how many times we can sound the horn before it disintegrates into dust. For that reason, I suggest we save it until we absolutely need it. Hello! Come to partake in a before the battle cleansing? I find it prudent to make myself pristine prior to the start of a slaughter. In my experience, the subsequent blood and gore adheres much better to a well laundered body. The Moongate. I hope to wash away the memories of the betrayer, but some stenches can't be removed with soap and water. I'm sorry I made the moons move, my friend. Sorry I helped the dragon. But before I became the gallantly gaunt soul shriven form you see today, I was the betrayer. I originally did all the terrible deeds that led us to this place. I'm, I'm rather ashamed. Dash it all. Yes, of course, that was my plan all along. Make up for my past atrocities by helping the nice cat people defeat the evil dragons. Just like the hero I was before I became the betrayer. tally -ho, then. I'll head to the moon gate now and meet you there. As nice as these facilities are, I miss the boiling plasm pools of Cold Harbor. Hot enough to melt the skin right off your bones. What an invigorating sensation. And your point is?
the quiet moments between battles. I like to spend the time catching up in my reading. History, military strategy, recipe books. My secret pleasure is a good mystery, though. And the new Investigator Veil vale is a real page-turner. I've been waiting for the order to move out. I sent most of the Cygnus Irregulars on ahead with Garish Ri, but a small contingent remained here in case our earlier guess was wrong. I assume events in the ruins confirmed our theory? Understood. We need to defend the Moon Gate and stop the dragons from using it when it opens. Keep them from reaching Jode's core. Well, at least now we have a mission. I just hope the Khajiit can get over their aversion to working with my troops. Queen Euraxia's tyranny made the Khajiit wary. I don't blame them for that. I just want to show them that not all Imperials are tyrants, that they can trust at least a few of us. It will come, as long as we don't turn on each other first. Jay, light my path through this madness. Wait, this isn't right. Work! Farm hands needed at Mother's farm! Roxardo's mother is very nice. He promises. Zargo works so hard.
believes everyone has arrived. Report to Prefect Kalo Five Claw while I confer with the Queen. An eclipse is an eerie sight, but the moons come together and the sky grows dark. Ominous, isn't it? And strangely beautiful. Where are the dragons, though? And the remaining Euraxians? I assume they would have started their push for the Moongate by now. As ready as we can be. The Kashidi Militia and the Cygnus Irregulars have taken defensive positions along the path up to the Moongate. And whatever siege weapons we could get our hands on are set to repel the dragons. Not a chance. We only hope to slow them enough to give Tharn and Kamira the time they need to stop the Moongate from opening. Or find a way to shut it if all else fails. If the dragons don't reach Jode's core, we win. Wait. What's that noise? Dragons! Come here. I'll take charge down here. Zamarak will go. Get those fires out and ready the ballistic. Move it, soldiers! Time for reckless audacity and daring do. Euraxians, the wall has been breached. Up there, more Euraxians. yourself. Come down. path is clear. We need to reach Queen Kamira. Daresh Ri still breathes, but his injuries are serious. He needs a healer. In the meantime, Zamarak knows what he must do. With Daresh Ri injured, someone else must take command of this position. Make sure the Euraxians and the dragons encounter enough resistance to slow them down. That task now falls to Zamarak. Yes, my friend. This is Zamarak's chance to finally atone for his past mistakes. Wait, what is this? The Dragonhorn? 
This one doesn't know why Garishri was carrying this. But you must take it and reach the Moon Gate. Queen Kamira needs you. Go. Now, Five Claw. Before the moon's completely alive. How the moons align with the ancient gate. The lattice opens a path to Jode's core. But how did you get the dragon horn? Where's Garishri? And why are the sounds of battle so close? Did the Euraxians overrun our defenses? Garishri? Hurt? And the Euraxians behind our defenses? This is not good. Not good at all. Well, we still have the dragon horn. At least until the power runs out, or the fragile relic falls apart. Ah, they just wish the moons would move for me. The power, yes. 
but not the knowledge and experience. I will continue to try to move the moons and close the gate, but you will need to keep the Euraxians from taking this position. I am counting on you, Five Claw. We stand on the sacred plain of Jode. The dragons went down into the processional. They seek to breach Jode's core. From the memories I absorbed at the Shadow Dance Temple, Anequina and the Moon Priests came here to honor the moons and set them on their way after their sacred joining. This is also where she helped Kunzari hide the dragon's power. Here, on the plain of Jode, the memories become clearer with every passing moment. Kunzari was able to use Kalgrontid's own greed against him. The dragon sought the power of Jode's core from the beginning, but Kunzari offered him even more. He offered a way to combine the natural power of Jode's core with the mystic might of his loyal dragons. Kalgrontid's greed was his undoing. Now, he finally has an opportunity to steal all the stored energy for himself. We must stop him!
Avoid Mulamnir as best you can.
Toad's core is close. I can feel it. Grontid is absorbing Jode's core. As long as the moons remain aligned, the power flowing through him is unimaginable. Get me to that platform, Tyne. I can separate the moons using the altars. You must deal with Mulanir Firestar. I will divert whatever energy I can into the Dragon Hall, but it will take sparing.
banish these fleas, brother. You have my word. Finish the ritual. Joel and Jord, hear me. The power 
It belongs to me! You did it, Camera! You ended the eclipse! Sound the horn! The gate has closed. We are trapped, yes. But Mulamir is dead, and Cal Grontit has been defeated. Oh, hello! You always find things in the last place you know. Cal Grontit. I'm actually pleased to see you, Cadwell. Come, Chimera. Your people await their queen. Thank you, my friends, for everything. Queen Chimera, have you been injured? I am fine, just tired. But look, the moons are no longer aligned. Tell me. Tell me about the dragons, the Euraxians. What is the state of our forces? Our scouts tell us that most of the Euraxians and dragons fled when the moons parted. Our own troops have not returned, but the main has sent an envoy. An envoy from the main? Hmm. If you'll excuse me, I have other business to attend to. We did it, Five Claw! We put the moons back in motion and defeated both Mulamir and Kalgrontid. I... I want to thank you for everything. Elsewhere is safer today because of you. Just being on the Plain of Jold clarified the memories I inherited at the Shadow Dance Temple. I saw the ritual in my mind and performed the actions. Oh. Too bad the Dragonhorn did not survive. At least it lasted long enough to banish Calgrontid. He did grow larger with every infusion of power he absorbed, but the horn dislodged him from Jode's core, which allowed me to finish the ritual and end the eclipse. After that, prrr, a concern for another day, yes? I cannot be named queen without the main's blessing. That, however, is my worry. For now, you should rest. We must honor our fallen and learn the fate of our troops at the Moon Gate. And after that, we will celebrate a new dawn for elsewhere. We have accomplished much, my friend. We overthrew the tyrant, Euraxia Tarn. Defeated Zumag Fum and the Betrayer, even killed at least two dragons and made the moons move in the sky. If only I could shake this sense of impending doom. <laughs> <laughs>